In this video and some of the upcoming future videos, we will be working on CDS asset annotations. We are going to create a theory list report and object page applications where we will be adding CDS annotations to build the UI of the application. So there are basically two kinds of uh, annotations which normally we see. One is about CDS annotations and uh, the another is uh, uh, normal CDS annotations. So the main difference in these two kind of annotations are the ABAP annotations, they are evaluated by the ABAP runtime and uh, the CDS annotations which uh, normally includes the UI annotation like semantic annotation, search annotation, OData annotation, object model annotation. So all of these kind of annotations are evaluated by the specific runtime framework like uh, if there is any analytics related annotations we have used and analytics uh, framework will take care search will be taken care by the enterprise search likewise so we in this video or upcoming videos we will be seeing the normal cds annotations and uh, adding them to the theory application for building the ui so let's start uh, quickly by building an odata service by creating a normal cds view so we will be creating a new data definition here and uh, for this example as well we will be using our s flight tables for data so let's create our first uh, cds view quickly so zi underscore spfli underscore details spfli details this will be our main view and uh, this will be a simple view although we need to have some associations as well but let's create a view first and then we will add the association as and when needed so define view let's quickly copy this and put it here remove the underscores and we will be giving the name of the data source is spfli table and uh, inserting all of the fields let's filter out the fields what are the fields we want here and what are not so let's define the key fields here key and key okay from spfli as connection so now everything will be okay so now our simple cds view is ready let's activate it and uh, it's activated open with data preview we are seeing this data so this is a very simple cds view just for starting we we have created this and then let's remove this authorization check here and uh, not required uh, and uh, what else we need here nothing much so now let's uh, let's generate a no data service for this quickly so for generating the OData service, we will be using an annotation OData annotation. OData.publish is equal to true. 
and then just activate it so behind the scene it will generate a no data service which uh, we will be activating okay so currently it is saying is not active so we need to activate this service go here and uh, copy the service name and then we go to maintain and add a service so we got our service here click on add selected service on the local object okay so this is our service which is created and metadata is loaded let's go back and check So everything is now fine. Our service has already been created. So we are done with this. And now it's time to create a Fiori application which will be using this OData service which we have created. Okay, so for that we will be using Business Application Studio here and uh, let's create a new project quickly so for that go to find command and if you if you want to see the details of how to create the first application in business application studio using mta i have a separate video available and i will provide a link in the description so for creating this uh, we will be creating an mta project so for that we need to get uh, open cloud foundry application router generator click on this and uh, we will be giving a MTA project name so we will be providing um, CDS annotations and uh, annotations in theory application we will be using managed code here finish so it is creating an MTA project and then the, on the second step we will be creating a new module which will be added to this MTA project basically okay so select this and then click on either you can click on this button or you go to here and then open application generator so we will be using the fiori application fiori list fiori element and the list report object page click on next and the data source would be we will connect to a system which will be our locally installed about trial system and the service would be our uh, what service we created Z I S P F L I details copy this so copy and uh, we need to go to Okay, we got our service here. Click on next, and uh, here you need to select the main entity. For now, we do not have any associations, so this is the default one. Select this and click on next. Now it is creating a module which will be added to 
this MTA project. So let's give a model name here. So we will be giving annotations as a name. Notation details usage on dot coding names and uh, folder path would be our CDS annotation. So we want to create our module inside this. So select this and OK. Leave the version like this only and uh, we will be deploying into Cloud Foundry. So we will do yes. Click on next. And uh, Cloud Foundry destination name is again NLP and finish. So this will create our new Fiori application with the service which we just created. So currently it is installing all the dependencies, all the node modules and everything. Okay, so files have been generated and we see everything is fine here, no errors. So close this and uh, let's quickly run the application. Click on this. Okay, so our first application is ready. We do not see anything here now because we haven't put any annotations in our CDS view. So let's quickly put some of the annotations at least to see the table content here. So for that, we will be giving again to Eclipse and uh, Let's put our very first annotations for connection ID. It is a UI annotation, UI dot line item on which position we want to show it on this and what should be the caption. So for that label is the property. airline ID and then same goes with line item position will be second column and label would be connection ID and likewise let's quickly take these from change the from airport from airport from let's make it departure report and the next would be city two and this would be Arrival time and then it 
this time so you must be observing i am giving 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 it's not mandatory to use these numbers you can use any number it's just because if near future if you want to add a new column you have here nine spaces still available from 51 to 59 basically so nine more columns you can add in between these two so this is just the idea to give this number like in the difference of 10 you can use any number range 1000 1000 2000 like that so it is not a mandatory thing to uh, use 20 10 20 30 40 like that okay so we have given all of these annotations here annotations and let's quickly activate this and uh, refresh our app so we got our first data so uh, airline id connection id and everything is available now so through the annotation we have created this ui and uh, in the next video we will be making some changes to this ui only by using the ui annotations and uh, we will be putting some search field here as well so that's all for now in this video thanks for watching and if you like the content please subscribe thank you